It has been no secret to the world that Japan is indeed one of the most technologically advanced countries in the world and therefore uses a lot of robots across the industry. This creates high demand and in order to satisfy it, many companies are trying their best to bring new innovating technology. Let's take a look at some of them which would absolutely blow your minds away. From realistic cats to literal humanoid interacting robots, we have quite a lot of surprises coming your way. So without any further ado, let's get started. Number 9. Makoro Cleaning Robot Kicking off our list with the Makoro Cleaning Robot. Now, we've seen the world advance from traditional vacuum cleaners to machines that roam around the house on their own to clean the house. But are they as aesthetic as Makoro? Makoro is basically the same as an automatic cleaner, but what makes it so different is its looks and functionality. It's way smarter. Say goodbye to your back pain that was accumulating due to all the cleaning that you've been doing. because Makoro is here now. Just rest back and turn on this machine and it will automatically remove all the dust from your house. One more thing, you don't even need to turn it off manually because it just does that on its own after 15 minutes. If you need it again, just tap or kick it gently and it would start again. Number eight, Kaori-chan. Out of all the ones you're gonna find on this list, this one is the most hilarious one. Kaori-chan is a robot that is designed to tell you if you have bad breath or not. It may seem like an unnecessary thing to invent, but I mean, that's just what Japan is known for, making the most unique products ever. She's pretty simple to use. All you need to do is breathe into her face and the robot in blue hair is gonna rate it on a scale of one to four. Number seven, Yume Neko Dream Cat. Do you want a cat at your house, but you don't like furs all around the house or want them to roam around mindlessly? Well, Sega Toys have made a robot that is exactly made for you. It's none other than the Yume Neko Dream Cat. You know, sometimes I feel like a product promoter. Nevertheless, this robot right here is almost like a dream cat. It can move, it can make sounds, and pretty much interact in every way a real cat would. How does it do that? It has a sensor that can sense things around it. The best part about this cat is that it can respond to touches. You can pet it and it will show you responses like an actual cat. But hey, don't pet it too much because it can get angry too, you know. From moving its ears and mouth to blinking, it just looks so real. The cherry on top, it comes with a free comb. And if you use it on her, she is gonna adore you back. Number six, Jankin Robot. Raise your hand if you're confident enough to beat anyone in a game of rock, paper, scissors. Because no matter how good you are, you cannot beat the Jankin Robot. Named after the game's Japanese name, this robot does nothing except for playing rock, paper, scissors, of course. It does that perfectly though, because it's not like an online game that uses an algorithm to make its move. It makes use of its capable sensors to detect high speed motion and then defeat the opponent flawlessly. In a way, you could say it's cheating, but regardless, it's a pretty interesting and fancy piece of technology. Number five, Ryman. Next, we have Ryman, the superhero that will save us from alien invasion. Just kidding. It's a robot that was created to help elderly people. Its main goal is to be able to carry people without any issues. Ryman would be used in hospitals and clinics so that it can carry people in order to transport them from other rooms or even help to change the positions of the patients. You may think, wouldn't people be hurt? Or how does it know where to pick up the patients from? What if they fall? Well, it is equipped with countless sensors and motors and even has a facial recognition system. Therefore, it knows exactly how to pick up a person properly. As for people being uncomfortable, the robot's frame is equipped with ultra soft material. This robot overall is just stunning. It even looks so adorable. Number four, the swine flu robot. So far, we've just seen some really cool and fascinating objects, but up next, we have something different. It's called the Swine Flu Robot. And no, it's not an object that detects swine flu or anything. So what is it exactly? It's basically a machine that does everything that a patient attacked by the H1N1 swine flu virus would do. Yep, an android that exhibits the swine flu symptoms. It can do everything, ranging from sweating to moaning. How is it helpful? It is used to train and help doctors to learn and understand more about the disease and how a patient can be successfully healed. To make things realistic, the robot is designed in such a way that if it's not treated properly, then its health would deteriorate and eventually die at one point. Number three, 
Reply R1 robot. For those of you who are waiting for humanoid robots to appear, well, the wait is over. This is the Reply R1 robot, which was created at Osaka University by a certain group of roboticists. Even though they say it's a robot child, <clears throat> as you can tell by her appearance, she is quite creepy. She looks like that girl from every horror movie that's possessed. Just look at her expression. So why was she created? Well, first of all, she has a never aging, flexible silicon skin and a ton of motors and sensors so that she can interact with people around her, just like an actual five-year-old. Just wondering who would ever buy this for personal use though? Like imagine you wake up at 3 a.m. and the first thing you see is her face. <laughs> Right before we jump into the next one, if you've made it this far, make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. Number 2. A child with a biometric body, the CB2 robot. Osaka University is famous for making ridiculous robots, and just like the previous one, CB2 is also one of their creations. It's a robot that resembles a two-year-old kid. It can very much mimic the physical and mental attributes of a small child. And for your information, just like kids, it learns from its environment. What does it mean? Well, by interacting with people around it, it can swallow the information, such as the expression of humans, and then slowly use them. In short, developing social skills. Its design is a bit questionable, though. The bald nature, white body, dark black eyes. <coughs> It looks a bit scary, but does everything it's programmed to do perfectly. From moving its legs like a baby to recording every kind of movement, it is making use of its hundreds of sensors. It is said that the droid has already learned how to walk on its own and is learning more and more. Slower than a child, but it's going to be extremely helpful in the future to design more realistic human-like robots. Number 1. Telenoid R1 if you are somewhat amazed by the last two inventions by the roboticists of Osaka University, you are gonna go crazy after seeing this one, the Telenoid R1. It's relatively small, just 80 centimeters in height, and its skin is totally white. With the kind of appearance it has, it looks like some ghost doll, quite literally. I mean, just look at this thing. Does it look like a robot to you? It was made with the purpose of evolving video calls. <laughs> The way it works is basically a person is going to sit in front of a webcam. Their voice and facial movements will all be recorded and then sent to the robot via Wi-Fi connection. The robot would mimic the voice and the facial movements exactly how it was recorded in the first place. Just imagine your friend calling you and speaking to you through the telenoid. Would it be creepy or hilarious? You tell me. The person behind this great invention is the legendary professor Dr. Hiroshi Ishiguro, who has invented a lot of other great robots and continues to do so. Just hope Osaka University keeps amazing us with more crazy robots and also works a bit more on aesthetics. Make these things look more human, please! So what was your favorite robot out of these? If you had to buy one for yourself, which one would it be? Let us know down in the comments section below. Be sure to check out this video over here.